Now, there are also analogies. Has anyone heard of analogical thinking? And that sounds very complex, right? This is another one of those things that it sounds, you know, very important. It sounds very, you know, very difficult and complex. But it's something, again, that we do every day. And that's one of the things you really need to remember about these things. These are things that you engage in every day. So what is it? Dealing with a new situation by adapting similar familiar situations. So when I was talking about our concept of a laptop, and now we have encountered a tablet, and so now we have formed a tablet, what did we do with that information? We formed an analogy between the laptop and a tablet. What was the analogy? Look at this, look at this laptop with no keyboard. There's your analogy. We use this to help us understand the world. Now, there are a lot of different computational models out there for analogy and analogical reasoning. The one that you'll probably encounter the most is called case-based reasoning. It's used in artificial intelligence a lot. You'll also find that it is also used in other areas, including theoretical areas. So we already talked about how it's used in cognitive science with our analogy between the computer and the mind. And one of the reasons why we use analogies so much is because it can not only help us understand the world around us, but it helps us get new ideas. Analogies are a very fertile source for creative designs, for new ways of thinking about things. Let me give you an example. Velcro. Who knows how Velcro was uh, initially invented? Close. It was initially, it was first used for astronauts before we even used it for astronauts. I'm talking even a step before that. How did the inventor come up with the idea of Velcro? Anyone know? It didn't have to do with the plants. It had to do with those little plants that drive you crazy when you walk through the grass. So when you walk through high grass, Right, you have your socks on, your legs are getting itchy, and you, get, you finally get to the sidewalk, you look down, what's on your socks? All those annoying little burrs that take you 10 million years to pull out of your socks because you don't want to look like a complete dork. <laughs> well, it just so happens that George Demestral, who invented Velcro, used an analogy with those burrs. He saw them sticking to his dog. And he used analogical thinking. He reverse engineered how to figure out how to make a product that would work similarly. And you'll see that this, of course, is just one example. There are a lot of examples out there where you look at something, even in nature, or something that you think of, you use your analogical thinking to come up with a new product and a new concept. Now, think about how much money this person has made. I think they've made five cents or lots and lots of money. Well, I actually don't know for sure. I'm guessing lots and lots of money. I know I'm not supposed to bring up money, right? But it really helps bring up a lot of these concepts that can be a new concept. We use analogical reasoning. Look at some of the interviews with some of these founders of some of the big companies. You'll find that they also used a lot of analogical reasoning.